How do you feel about coming back at Christmas? Hmm. Humbug. <laughs> this is like the amusement park experience, but with plants. Overcrowded, hard to get in, expensive to get in, and it's just plants. But it's very pretty plants, Jared. folks welcome to another episode of the vlog episode 51 and guess who i'm with jared and kelly hi, hi. we are celebrating fall by going to the dallas arboretum because we're gonna go to the pumpkin village it's gonna be exciting so it took a lot of grueling discussions but Kelly got Jared to come without a sleeveless shirt. <laughs> yes, it did take a lot of <laughs> encouragement. <laughs> like the amusement park experience but with plants. Overcrowded, hard to get in, expensive to get in, and it's just plants. But it's very pretty plants, Jared. your wedding bells oh for better or for worse so oh, yeah. yeah I guess it's covered <laughs> I guess it's covered <laughs> Guys, this is so amazing. Isn't this amazing? It is amazing. I like all the pumpkins. I think my favorite one over here is the blue Hubbard and maybe the knucklehead. We have enchanted pumpkins. Who would have known you could have so many different types of pumpkins? It's way too hot out here for this to be fall. We're like real hot. I wore a vest. I'm not taking it off though, because this is supposed to look like fall, so we're doing this for the gram, folks. Doing it for the gram. Jared and I have done stuff for the gram, and uh, we survived. Yes, yes we did. If you want to see that, click here for that episode. tired and a little bit hot but by golly we're Instagram friendly and that's, that's all right. that matters always <laughs> always <laughs> we're not in Joshua Tree but we are at the Arboretum so hey we didn't get kicked out of either one nope we didn't 
I don't think we saw a single park ranger in Joshua Tree. No, no, we didn't. We're a desert racer. Cheers. We had to come have lunch. And I can't think of a more exciting place to come to lunch in Dallas than Desert Racer. So here we are. exhibit was so fantastic. I walked through it twice. This is the first time ever they've put all of Van Gogh's olive tree paintings together. And one of the coolest parts of this is that Van Gogh painted these when he was in a mental health facility in Provence. And at the very beginning, they wouldn't allow him to walk outside, so he merely painted from the window. But eventually, he was able to go and paint on the grounds. And it's amazing if you see the symbolism in these paintings, how much salvation and Jesus and his faith meant to him because in an earlier painting he put his own rendition of Adam and Eve in the garden in another painting uh, Jesus didn't make the final painting but in an earlier sketch Jesus was resonant with the sun uh, in that painting and it shows so much about how he was using his faith to encourage him and help him in the midst of his mental health issues. So I just want to encourage you that if you are a Christian who is struggling with some sort of a mental health issue, whether it's a recent thing because of grief or whether it's something you've been struggling with for some time, don't let the devil win. Don't let him convince you there's something wrong with your salvation. Stand and believe God for your healing. Rest in his presence. Seek his face and just ask God to heal you. And it may take, it may be instantaneous, but it also could take a few years. But what's important is to be sure to continue to stand that God loves you, that he paid for your healing at the cross, and that he wants to heal you. So I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I appreciate you guys following along. So, sweet dreams.